So today's workout is a 118 calorie hit a burning workout. It is suitable for absolutely everyone and you don't need any equipment. And the workout takes approximately a nine minutes. And I have um, measured how many calories I burnt during this workout. And obviously everyone varies from our age, our weight to our gender. So this is an approximate, but this is how many calories I burnt during these nine minutes. So what I do suggest is if you haven't, it is really important, do make sure you have done a warm up first. So even if you need to hit the pause button, march on the spot for one minute, and then I'm ready to start doing this 118 calorie hip burning workout with you right now. So the first move is standing straight leg kicks. If you want to work a little bit harder, follow me on the right and extend your arms above your head. And so we're gonna do 40 seconds, just alternate from leg to leg. So what you're doing here, if you're following me on the right, you're aiming to get your hands down to meet your foot and aim to kick that leg up as high as you can. But whilst you're doing this, you've, it's really important you keep that back straight. That way then we're fully engaging those abs. If you're following me on the left, again, make sure you keep those tummy muscles tight. Just bring that leg up as high as you can. Benefit of this exercise, we are toning your bottom, your thighs. We're also working your abs and we're also working through the arms. Plus, we're burning calories and we're nearly done. Let's go three, two, and one. Okay, so the next exercise, you need to come into a skater's lunge and we're just gonna be doing this for 20 seconds. So we just go from one side to the other. So you can do it with the jump on the right or you can just do it so it's a low impact, so you're just traveling from one side to the other. What is really important is really bring that arm across, you reach it over towards the opposite side. This is really good to work through the waist. Three, let's go two, and one. Okay, so your next one, you've got two options here. You can either come down onto the floor as I'm doing and then actually just start with um, both feet on the ground. And what we're gonna do, we're just doing this one for 20 seconds. You're just gonna alternate a straight leg kick. So you can either do it as said on the ground, it's a little bit harder, so you're like in a V position or you're standing up and just squeeze that leg a little bit behind so it doesn't come up too high. And what we're doing here, we're specifically toning and lifting through that booty and we've got two and one. Okay, so you want to come back up to standing, get ready to go 20 seconds for me now, skater's lunge, just from one side to the other. And remember the key thing with this is really make sure that hand's not just coming in front, but really take it, travel it across to your side. That's it, opposite side, well done, that's it. And reach it from one side to the other. Okay, that's good, and let's go last three, take that two, and one. So for the next exercise, you need to come down onto the floor. If you find it hard to come down onto the floor, you can actually, if you're following me on the left, just do this seated on a chair. And what we're gonna do, 20 seconds, we're just gonna take the hands from one side to the other. So if you're on a chair, just reach around from one side to the other. If you're following me on the right, take your feet off the ground, but you've gotta really make sure, and promise me you're putting those tummy muscles in really tight. Just take the hands from one side. What we're doing here is we're really working into those waist muscles. Okay, done. So we come straight back up to standing. Let's get ready, 20 seconds now, skater's lunge. That's good, just reaching that across from one side to the other. So remember, you've got an option if you wanna do this whole workout, so it is a low impact, just consistently follow me on the left. If you want to do the high impact version, you follow me on the right, and you've got three, let's go two, and one. So your next position is this one. Doing a plie squat where we do the unarm crossover. So just choose the one you want to do and let's go 20 seconds now. So if you are doing it on the right, you're alternating the leg that you lead that you're crossing over in front with. It's hard to see on that white screen. So you go from one leg to the other, taking the arms above the head. And if you're following me on the left, it's a deep plie squat and then bring the arms back in as if you're touching the shoulder blades. Okay, well done. So we are done on that one. Let's go straight back into 20 seconds of those skaters lunges. Reach that over. So today I want to be toning your thighs, your abs, your arms. We're burning heaps of calories. It's a full body workout plus it's great for your heart, for your lungs, absolutely everything. And let's go five. Let's take it four and then go three, two, 
and one. So this next one is a really amazing exercise. And I'm not sure if I've done this with you before, but two options. If you want to follow me on the right, touch your toes. And now you're going to bend your knees in and then you straighten. So it's like a really deep squat or you follow me on the left. We've just got another 10 seconds. What is important? Do just make sure you're not letting your knees come over the line of your toes. And let's go five. And we're going to take it four. So it's really slow. Three. And it's great for stretching out through those hamstrings. Okay. So we are halfway through today's workout. You can just press pause, march on the spot for like 20 seconds. And also if you need to grab some more, so grab some water now. We're just going to repeat exactly what we've just done, but we're going to be doubling your calorie burn. So let's start off now. Those straight leg kicks. You know what to do. This time we do 40 seconds of this first move. So think of the benefits you are getting there from doing this right now. You are toning your abs. You're increasing your calorie burn. You're increasing your flexibility through your hamstring. You are toning through the bottom. You're toning through the legs you're toning through your arms and through your shoulders that's good you're increasing your energy levels all right well done and it's the last time for us doing this exercise today so I'm going to count you down last 10 seconds do it for me with really good form 10 let's go nine got eight seven and six five four three that's good and two and one okay well done so we'll get ready we're going to do 20 seconds of those skaters lunges so let's get ready and remember as I always say with this one really bring that arm across so it's not just in front take it across your body as well and just think where you're toning here this one is toning through the outside of the thighs the inside of the thighs it's going to work on drawing in your waist it's toning through your arms and it's getting your heart stronger three go two and one Okay, so next one, choose your position. You either come down into an extended plank and then you're alternating the leg as you lift it up. Squeeze tight through the abs. You'll feel this working through the bottom. If you're following me on the left, make sure you just keep that supporting knee slightly bent. And let's just go last five. If you're on the floor on the right, then this is also really good to develop upper body strength. Okay, all right, so let's come straight back up now. Get ready for 20 seconds. Skaters lunges. So reach up from one side to the other. Doing really well. Keeping that going. That's good. Reach it across and back. That's it. And let's go five. Take it four and three, two, and one. All right, so your next exercise now, you come down onto the ground. If you find it hard to come down onto the floor, remember you can do this just seated on a chair. And we're just gonna go from one side to the other, reach it across and back, and really feel this in the waist. So the idea is try and take your hands as far around to the side as you can for me. If you're keeping the legs off the floor, feet off the floor, make sure you keep those tummy muscles fully engaged for me. All right, so straight back up, skater's lunge. You're doing really well. We're nearly done with today's training, so just stick with me and reach that across. So 15 seconds to go on this one. That's it. All right, and I'm going to count you down from those last five. Let's get ready for that countdown. And let's go five, take it four, go three, two, and a one. All right, so next exercise, we're going to do that plie squat jump. So choose your position. You're doing 20 seconds. Alternate with that leading leg if you're following me on the right. And this one here is also because of the action that we're doing with the arms. It's really good to get rid of bingo wings. But also this is a great fat burning one. It's good for working those inner and outer thighs. And you've got three, go two and one. And we're done with that one today. All right, straight back into that skater's lunge from one side to the other. Really reach that cross. If you're following me on the right, jump it nice and high as you transfer from one leg to the other. That's it. We've got the last five seconds coming up right now. So let's go for it. Five, take that four, go three, two, and one. All right, so your next move, we're doing these really deep squats. So choose your position. If you're doing it on the right, so you crouch down, then you straighten the leg, crouch down and straighten the leg. And again, just make sure that those knees are not shooting over the line of your toes. If you're following me on the left, you just extend forwards and then bring the hands back to the thighs. All right, let's go last three, two, and one. 
Okay, so we are done bar 20 seconds. We are gonna finish, I'm gonna show you two moves. You can choose, don't do it yet, but you can either, so I'll count you in, you can either go for 20 seconds where you sprint or march on the spot, or you can do 20 seconds where you do this ab exercise. So just choose the one you want. If you're doing the ab one, you want to come down onto the floor, I do show easier and harder versions for both the exercises, or if you want to, you can sprint on the spot. Okay, so let's do it. We're gonna go 20 seconds from now, so choose. You might wanna be on the floor doing those abs or you might want to be on standing up rather and just really sprinting. That's good and we're nearly done. Let's just keep going. Last few, that's good. Putting in 100% effort for me, really good. Three, two and one. Amazing, okay, well done. That is your training complete. So I'm now going to quickly run through all the stretches with you. So the first thing you want to do is just step a one foot back and just have that heel down on the ground. Feel that stretch through the back of the lower leg muscle on that extended leg. Just holding that there. That's good. Okay, and let's get ready now to bring that leg in front. Let's just take that opposite leg behind. Hands come onto that bent leg. You're aiming to keep the heel down on the leg behind, just feeling that through the calf muscle. So we're just stretching that out. That's good. And then we're going to stretch those hamstrings. So extend one leg in front. Hands are on the bent leg for me. Toes pointing up. So I want you to feel this running down the back of the upper thigh on the extended leg. All right, so let's now take the opposite leg in front. Hands are always on the bent leg. And again, just point the toes up, tilt your pelvis away. So we're just stretching through the hamstring, making sure we can feel that stretch. All right, and let's now come to that quadriceps stretch. So if you need to, do use a wall for balance or a chair. We're just gonna hold it onto one foot and just make sure that's supporting me, slightly bent for me. Just feel that stretch running down the front of the thigh of the bent leg. And let's just change, take that to the opposite leg. And again, just holding that there, tilt the pelvis forward, feel that stretch all down the front of the thigh. That's good. And then let's just take the arms behind, lift it up so we're just stretching through the chest. Bringing that there, that's good. Today you've worked near enough every single muscle group. Let's just bring those arms in front for me and just really feel that stretch through the top of the back. And now let's just take one arm up, feel that through the tricep, and then we're just gonna get ready to take that to the opposite arm, reach that round, and again, just feel that stretch all through the back of the upper arm. That's good. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, it's really important to grab some water. And if you've got any questions on your training, on the videos, on anything, then um, you can always let me know in the comments box below. And for more of my eBooks, audio downloads, and also where I create your own personalized workout videos, then head to my website, which is lwrfitness.com. And I'll see you tomorrow, because tomorrow we're back to doing a clean eating recipe. So well done for your training tomorrow. Today, even. Whoops.